ELOL quit Bee Swarm Simulator, and I think the problem is that a lot of other players are also thinking of quitting Bee Swarm, which is exactly why I'm here, because while Beesmas has ended and it seems like there's nothing to do, I'm here to show you how to not lose motivation, and in simple words, just show you some cool things to do while we wait for the next update, you know, so that way you don't quit the game or whatever. And sorry for not posting for like four days, finals are busy, alright? But hey, I'm still studying for finals and making this video for you guys, so if I can do that, please like and sub, because it means a lot, and with that said, here we go. Here are my tips on how to not lose motivation in Beast Swarm Simulator. All right, so starting off with number one, I do have a lot of fun things that you can do, but we just got to start off with the first and easiest join in the game. Okay, the biggest thing that will kill your motivation is if you just don't join. Even if it's simple, all I recommend is just joining daily to get your daily glues from the gummy cave, kill your daily stump snail, and every other day do your tunnel bear. Literally just the simplest things, but it will save your Beast Swarm career. And now for the actual fun things things that I like to do. Well, one fun thing that I found you can try is trying to break your Bee Swarm records, at least your personal ones. I mean, defeating your bosses specifically. Because if I'm bored, I'll try and see if I can break my record for defeating my Tunnel Bear. Basically, you just want to equip your Demon Mask, get some oil and tropical drinks activated, and see how fast you can defeat it. But even more fun than that is trying to break your Coconut Crab record. Now, it is kind of hard to break the record without Beesmas, but I've still found it to be a pretty good pastime. And if you're really up for a challenge, try and break your record for fastest stump snail defeat. Now, after that is another really fun thing you can do, and that's start an alt account. If you're getting bored of playing Beastworm on your main, then why not start an alternate account and boost your main? And to be honest, starting an alternate is pretty fun. First of all, because you just get the nostalgia of re-experiencing the entire game all over again. But also, it's really beneficial because now that you've already done a playthrough of the game, you now know exactly what mistakes not to make and exactly what to do and basically the most efficient way to play Beastworm. Swarm simulator. Like, for example, on this alt account, you'll know not to waste your diamond egg, so that way you don't have to spend hours upon hours of your life slowly throwing away your sanity for five stupid diamond eggs. So yeah, start and all. It might be pretty fun. You never know. Now, after that is kind of a big challenge, but I mean, if you're up for a challenge and have nothing better to do, then it's a good idea. And that challenge is getting the end game collectors. Now, if you don't have the end game collectors, this doesn't really apply to you, but if you already have one, why not try and grind for the other ones? And that's actually exactly what I'm doing right now. You know, so I don't lose motivation. I'm currently grinding to get both the Dark Scythe and the Tide Popper because, you know, why not? Except it's not why not. There's actually a reason, and that's the next thing you can do is switch hive colors. Now, there's a few reasons to do this. First of all, it's so that you actually have a use for those endgame collectors if you actually end up buying the other ones. But also because switching to another hive color just makes the game more fun, specifically because if you switch to another hive color, you basically get to relearn some parts of the game. You get to learn how to use new mechanics. Mechanics. Like if you're switching to a white hive, you get to learn the mechanics of star saw and gummy ball And you get to learn how to benefit from goo and gummy alts It's really just a fun experience and it also just helps boost your bee swarm knowledge in general because now you know how to be yet another hive color One other thing you can do if you really want to pass the time and find something interesting to do is robo ch Just kidding you thought I was gonna say robo challenge heck no if you played this beesmas Then the last thing you need is robo challenge because honestly after this beesmas I'm not touching robo challenge for at least another month. No, no, no. What I was actually going to say is the new quest that Ana added into the game. Now, given those did come out like a week ago and you've probably already finished them, but if you haven't already completed them, then you might as well do them. And if you just completed them for the first time, then actually do grind out some ribble challenges for fun. And you know, try and grind for a good amulet. I know I have to. I'm a level 20 white hive with gummy baller and I have a silver cog amulet. Oh yeah, and if you actually are planning on doing these science bear quests, then you must know that I actually found a glitch in these quests it's extremely important. You do not want to make this mistake, so click this video if you want to see that glitch. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'm supposed to be studying for a huge chemistry test right now. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.